Thank you for connecting with the support. This is Alexis Smith. How can I help you? Hello there, Alexa. I'm trying to phone up for to cancel PayPal order, please. Okay, ma'am. Can you please confirm me with your name? Felicity Arkwright. All right. And what was the amount it was charging, ma'am? Uh, the amount was. Let's have a look here. Six ninety nine. No, nine ninety nine. All right. And tech uh, no one year service. Okay, and you want to be uh, cancel the charge, you don't want to be continued, right? I, I want it to be cancelled, please, yes. Okay, so can you please do let me know, like at this point of time, are you able to be in front of the computer right now, so that we will go ahead and cancel the charge? Oh, yes, I can do that. Yeah, just be in front of the computer and turn yes. it on, ma'am. I'm simply going it's to on. connect you to the cancellation department of PayPal. They will go ahead and cancel the charge, okay? Hey. And once your computer is on, do let me know. Uh, yes, I said it, it's on. The computer is on? Yes. Now you need to just open the Google Chrome browser. Do you have a Google Chrome Ooh. browser on your computer? <coughs> yes, it's the Google. Yeah, open the Google Chrome okay. browser. Yeah, I got Google. Google Chrome okay. browser. Open the Google Chrome browser. I don't know the Chrome browser, but I, I've opened up google.com. And look at the very top of the page. There is a white long address search bar where you can type something. Can you see that, ma'am? Yes, www.google.com. Just whatever is written there, just erase it, delete it, and make the place blank first. Oh, okay. And type the new address. It's www www dot two four seven two four seven c as in charlie c c as in charlie again c dot period dot 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 only one dot ma'am okay one dot s like sugar i like indiana t like tiger E like Edward. Now press enter key from your keyboard. Hit the enter key. What? It, it doesn't need a dot com? No. Just press enter. Okay. Right. Um, secure server, secure code, join a public session. Okay. Now I am going to give you the secure code. You need to write down the code there, ma'am. Just type the code there. Okay. It's yeah. Now, just beside that, there is an arrow. Click on the arrow. Yeah, the blue one, yes. Now, once you will click on the arrow, just look at the right-hand side, top corner of your browser. Do you see something is getting downloading there, like uh, su secure support app client dot exe? It says secure at the support right side, app. Top corner. Uh, your browser should download the app. Click on the file. In the bottom left corner of browser and start okay. what start launching you need to app. look at ma'am you need to look at the very top of the page right hand side corner do you see there is a down arrow there is a down arrow no it is uh, three dots then there's a circle with an e there's a kind of like a square then a star and there's something else um, Ma'am, do you see the three dot there at the right side top corner? Yes, three, I there see is three, three dot line yes. there. Click on it. Now, do you see downloads? New tab. Downloads. New window. New incognito window. History. Oh, downloads. Click on downloads. Now, do you see the first one is support client? Support dot client exe. exe. Double click on it. Okay. Now what comes up on your screen, ma'am? Do you want to allow click on following yes. to change? Give a click on yes. Give a click on yes. Now what comes up on your screen, ma'am? Well, nothing at the moment. I, I I clicked on yes. What's it supposed to do now? No any changes on your screen, ma'am? No, I'm back at this. It, it's got the website displayed, secure support app. Uh, click on the three dot again. Give a click on the three, three dot dots again. again. Downloads. Now double click on the support client.exe. Double click on it. Okay. 
And do you want to allow the following to make Click changes on yes. again? Yes. Click on yes. Did I did that? But uh, do you want to allow the following again? Okay. Click on yes. Yes, Click I, I yes. clicked. I clicked yes twice. It popped up two times. Okay. Uh, now you just go back to the uh, page where it is asking for the secure code. Can you please go back to that page? All right. A secure code to do join the public sessions. Okay, I'm giving you the another secure code, ma'am. Uh, okay. That code was expired, so I'm giving you the another code. It's seven five nine five seven. Seven five nine five five seven. Five seven. Seven five nine five seven, yes. Now click on the arrow. Okay. Now what comes up on your screen? Secure support app. Your browser should download the app. Run the file. Now ma'am, you need to look at the right ma'am. You need to look at the right side of the page top corner. Do you see there is a down arrow? No. A drop down menu, down arrow. Okay, no, that click is on down the three dots with again. the bottom left. Okay, click on the three dot again. The three dots. And download. Yeah, click on download. Okay. And we got support client now, do you one see the exe. And it was completed, the download was completed, or uh, it is still oh, yes, downloading? It, it completed the download, but we got two support clients here. It is one with a number one and one without. Okay, you do one thing, ma'am. Look at the very top of the page. There is a white long address bar where you can type something. The address yes, line. It says Chrome type there, slash downloads. Ma'am, go at the top of the page where okay. you can type the address. I'm giving you the another address. Oh, another one. It's www. Type there www. www. S like sugar. U as in umbrella. P as in Pennsylvania. R like Romeo. E like Edward. M as in mother. O as in Oscar. F as in Frank. R like Robert. E like Edward, E like Edward again, dot com. Now press enter key from your keyboard and what comes up to let me know. Supremo remote con desktop control, easy and quick. Download, buy. I, I don't want to buy more click stuff. Click on the download. No, download. No, click on the download, not the buy. Click on the download. The buy. Yes, ma'am. I download Supremo for Windows, simple, smart, safe, Supremo. Now look at the right side of the page, top corner. Do you see there is a three dot? Can you see that? Yes, three dots. New tab. Now do you see the Supremo.ex? The uh, new incognito see, window. Can you see uh, downloads? Downloads, yes. Download, download. Downloads. Now uh, do you see over there anything comes up? <coughs> Supremo.exe. Can you see yes. that? Supremo, Supremo EXE. Yeah. It is getting download. It is getting downloading, or it was uh, still downloading. No, it, it's it's fully downloaded. You know, it, it's hundred percent. It was hundred percent completed. Yes. Okay. Double click on it and open it up. Okay. Now what comes up? Um. Do you want to allow the following make changes? Nano. Click on yes. Okay. Click on yes. Uh, Supremo is already running. Why is it running? It shouldn't be running. Look, okay. Look at the bottom of your screen, ma'am. Just look at the very bottom of your screen. You okay. will see there is a lot of icon there. Google Chrome icon, Mozilla Firefox icon, and just look at the last icon is uh, look like a pyramid, a blue color of a pyramid icon at the very bottom of your screen. Do you see yes. that? Yes, I see that. Click on it. Click on it. Okay. Now, what do you see? A sign in, don't have an account, register, receive, connect to your ID. Do you see the ID number and remote a password? ID. Yeah. You, okay. You need to just confirm me with the ID number so that I can match it out whether the ID is correct or not. Just tell me the ID number. Okay. I'm going okay. to give you the code once again, the fresh code. That code was expired. I'm giving you the code again. 19288. Oh, I'm I'm not typing I have typed it, it in. from my side, ma'am. I ha I will do it from my side, ma'am. Okay. Oh, all right then. Yes. Ma'am, can you see on your screen? Yes. It is showing. 
that As you have successfully secure, connected to the secure server. Okay. Can you see that? Yes. You have successfully connected to the secure server of PayPal. Now I'm going to give it to you. Just give me a moment. You can to give it? Now what do you see on your screen, ma'am? Updating your computer 25%. No, that's gone. It's some update on the 25 percentile. All right, ma'am. Now you have been successfully connected to the secure server of our people. Now just give me a moment. Let me do it for you. All right. Oh, wait. It's updating again. The 25 percent. All right. It's disappeared. It keeps on popping up with this 25 percent message. Now, what do you see? Updating the computer 25 percent. Okay, just hold on for a moment, ma'am. Okay. Seems to be stuck at 25%. Wait, oh, wait, it's now, gone now. You got your screen, ma'am? Yes, it's just come back. Okay, ma'am, now I'm going to give you the cancellation and the refund form on your computer screen right now. All right. Just give me a moment. Yes. Oh, it seems to be downloading another thing at 25%. I don't know. I think there may be an issue here. It keeps on going straight to 25 and stays there. Okay. Now, once you get the cancellation and the refund form, just do let me know, ma'am. Okay, then. Okay, just have a look on your screen, ma'am. You have got the PayPal cancellation and refund form. So what you need to do right now, you need to just go ahead and fill out the form from your end to get it cancelled. And after that, we will refund that money back to you, okay? Okay. Account type, well, I have both. I have checking and savings. Uh, you can uh, put you can put down any of them, whether you want the money okay. on the checking or in the saving. I put it in checking. A reason for refund, um, excessive amount, order created by mistake. Oh, I can only accept one. Okay, so I put in other because it's all of the above. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Do not click on next. No. Hold on. Let me uh, take this. Let me verify the form first. Just hold on for a moment. Okay. Hold on. Do not touch anything on your computer screen right now. No, I won't touch. Now at the top, it's got a John's uh, thing and it says switch account. Do I need to switch account to my own one? Wait, it's moving. No, 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 no. Do not do... Do not do anything, ma'am. Do not do anything right now. I am just verifying the form. Just do not touch anything, ma'am. I am just verifying the form, whether everything is correct or not. I, I don't know what Otherwise, you mean by verifying. I thought it would account. verify itself. All right, ma'am. Now you just go ahead and click on submit, all right? Oh, I can submit now. Okay. All right, then. Now just have a look on your screen. Now just have a look on your screen, ma'am. It is showing that... We have successfully transferred the funds. Can you see that it is written there? We have successfully transferred the funds. Okay. Trans the your transaction ID number is this. Please log in to your bank account and accept the transfer. Now that means, ma'am, we have successfully transferred you the refund link on your side up credit union in your bank account. What you need to do. You need to just go ahead and log in to your bank account and check it whether you got the refund link or not. Once you got the refund link, you need to click on the link and the money it will be get credited to, to you, okay? Okay then. Let me just sign into the bank. Now just go ahead and log in to your bank. Wait, I need a new thing. Uh. And I do believe you use crypto anything? Yes, yes, I remember I, I bought some of that... Um, a Bitcoin, what was it? Many years ago now. Do you use, do you use Bitcoin? Yes, I have some Bitcoin. Okay, you just, do, do uh, you can you please log into your Bitcoin account? Coinbase account? No, it's not a Coinbase account. I'm, I'll have to get my details from the crypto miner. Give me a moment. Okay, uh, I press any key. Uh, do you need me to check my balance? Yeah. Okay, one. I've got zero point zero zero three three eight four Bitcoin. All right, you do one thing, ma'am. Just go ahead and log into your online banking. Oh yes, I was and doing this is that. Your crypto, then, right? 
uh, no, I don't have crypto on my bank. I have crypto in in the uh, in the blockchain. I think it's called. Okay. So, do I need to check my bank, or, or do I stick with Bitcoin? Do you accept Bitcoin? Uh, Ma'am, uh, can you please do let me know that do you use Coinbase? No, I don't use Coinbase. I've got a cold wallet. And, you know, I, I I used to do some mining on here when it was profitable. Okay, you just go ahead and log into your bank account, ma'am, first. Do you need me go to send you some Bitcoin? Do you have a Bitcoin address for sending a Bitcoin to? No, no, ma'am. You just go ahead and log into your online banking okay. and check it whether you got the refund link or not. Refund link? So, you, I, I'm not sure why you were asking about my Bitcoin. Because I have I'm just verifying I have it, ma'am. Whether of I, I'm gold? just verifying it whether your uh, Bitcoin account is not been compromised. Oh no, so. it's, it's not, not been compromised. Been compromised. It's a cold wallet. It, it looks like a USB key. That's where I keep like seven point okay. three bitcoins at this rate. All right, ma'am. Uh, go ahead and check it once I you. I think will, they called it the uh, Ledger the Nano. Refund link. Do let me know. Once okay. you got the refund link, do let me know. Yes, I, I just had to wait for the um, ODB. So let me check my checking account. You say the link... Would the link be in the messages? Did you send me a message or would it be... Uh, on ma'am, just check it. You? Just check it whether you got the refund link well, or I am, not. I am trying to check link, it. I, I wanted know. to see if it was in the messages. So did you send it as a message? Yeah, just check it from okay, your I'll side. I'll check the messages. If you will find the uh, link, <coughs> do let me know. And it's saying no messages right now. Okay, just hold on, ma'am. That means you haven't received the. Uh, I haven't link received from any messages or any system. links. Sometimes it, sometimes it happens, ma'am. Uh, we will send the refund link to the customer, but uh, sometimes it happens due to some technical problem. Customer will not get the refund link. On that case, what we will do, we will transfer this call to the billing officer. He will be the one who is going to re refund you the money right now. Okay. Okay. Nice. Are you there, ma'am? Yes. Hello. Hello. Are you there? I'm here. All right. Please be with me online, ma'am, okay? Oh, yes, I'm I'm waiting here. You will go speak to Berlin Department. Okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, sorry uh, to hold you on the line for a uh, moment. Uh, ma'am, uh, my close, uh, my uh, uh, billing officer is... A uh, little bit uh, busy at the moment right now. Within uh, two minutes, you will get connect to uh, the billing officer, ma'am, okay? Within okay. two minutes, I will do it for you. Okay. So, just give, give me a two minutes, ma'am. I will do it for you. Just be on a, a line with me. Yes, I'm still waiting. Just give me a one moment, ma'am. Let me open a new window for you. Okay. Well, aren't we already connected on, on the help with the service code? I thought we downloaded that one. It is a support client again. I thought we already did this one. Uh, this is our billing officer connections, which I am going to establish for you. Surely the billing officer was going to do that. Okay, I do believe uh, you have been successfully connected to the billing officer right now. You are successfully connected to the billing of to your okay. uh, billing officer right now, ma'am. Now. Just give me a moment. Um, I'm asking my billing officer to call you right now, okay? And if you get any new call on your cell phone, I do believe, ma'am, I, I talk. Uh, you are talking to me on a cell phone, right? Well, it's satellite. I got the Iridium 9555. Uh, ma'am, uh, are you talking to me on a cell phone or your home phone? No, it's neither. It, it is, it's not really... A cell phone. It doesn't work on cellular network. It, it bounces off a satellite. Okay. Do you have a cell phone or or? Uh, so there that is I can no call you cell, cell signal out here. We have no cell signal out here. That's why we have to use the satellite phone. Okay. And if I will, if my billing officer is going to call you in this number four one nine. No, that's John's number. It's not mine. So how I can, uh, my billing officer will talk to you, ma'am? Well, my phone number is 419, played on your 419. display. So, I am going to call you, uh, my billing officer is going to call you on... Well, if he can get through to me on that one, you see, the, the satellites do move about a bit. 
If I, if why man, can't you so just transfer me to him is f- from your f- from your switchboard there? Ma'am, my billing officer is going to call you on your uh, on your this number, which is ending with zero six seven. So, uh, are you uh, able to receive that call from my billing officer? If my billing officer is going well, to call I, you, well, I I've already t- I've already explained you this. You know, it it's a bit hit and miss when it comes to the satellite. So, if we can keep it on on this phone call and you tran- just transfer me from your uh, switchboard, that'll be. Both easier and safer, and will be guaranteed to connections. And you don't have any cell phone or home phone. I told you there's no cell signal out here. That's why we use the satellite phones. Just hold on, ma'am. If you will get any Kay? new call from uh, my billing officer, just do. Just hold on, ma'am. If you go, if you got any uh, new call, why from can't my you just officer, transfer me, me know, okay? to him? Yes, he is going to call you right now, all right? No, transfer me, you know, do an internal switchboard thing to transfer me to the other man. Okay, ma'am, I will do it for you. Just give me a moment. Thank you. Ma'am, if you will get any uh, new call on your number... Yes. Uh, ...then answer the call, right? I will if I can, but I mentioned before this is satellite phone. So we can't have like multiple connections or anything like that. Just transfer me, transfer this call to the Belinda agent. It's a dial-up connection, ma'am. No, it's not it's dial-up. It's a dial-up connection. It, it, it's Q, it's QAM, QAM with, with the SDR. Okay. It bounces off the satellite dish. Okay, okay, uh, all right, ma'am. And suppose, ma'am, if I will, uh, if my uh, billing officer, okay, hold on for a moment. You are talking to me in a four one nine. Yes. And where is that number which is ending with 3148? Oh, that's Johnny's phone. That's, that's John's phone number. Would you like to speak that's to John? That's not in front of you? No, no John's no, at work not, right now. Uh, he's, he's, right. He's, he's, he's in oil okay. and gas. And ma'am, if I will, uh, ma'am, if I will give you my uh, billing officer uh, number to you, are you able to call him? Oh, I can call him, yes. But not while I'm on the line with you, Sorry? no. So you no, want no, me to call him? No, no, I will hang up the call. I'm giving you my billing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hang up the call. My, I'm going to give you the billing officer number to you. You can directly call to my billing officer, okay? Okay, then. So okay, what is the on. number Let over there? My billing officer. I'm giving it to you, ma'am. Just give me a moment. Let me ask the, uh, but don't you my know? billing officer. He says, this is Mike, the senior manager. Call me back. On this number. Right, I'm going to hang up on the line because Mike, the senior manager, has... Can you hear me? I'm going to hang up... Hello, are you talking to me, ma'am? Yes, I've got a notepad here from uh, Mike, the senior manager. He says, call back on the number. So I'm uh, just about to call the number. I'm just going to say I'm hanging up. Okay, you just hang up the, this call. You call my uh, uh, senior manager, all right? Customer you have called is unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello there. I was phoning up for Mike, the senior manager. He was supposed to help me sort out this payment thing, and it said to call you up. And you've left me a notepad message, so I'm I'm calling it back. And I don't know who Jack is, and I don't know why he does magic. So you could call me back. I'll call you again. I'll call you again. That'll be good. Yeah. Hi, Mum. Can you hear me? I hear you. Hi, Mum. This this is Mike. Oh, this is Mike. Okay, good. Yes, I phoned up and it said something about Jack. Magic Jack. (laughs) Okay. Magic Jack Mm -hmm. is my cell phone, you know, registered name. So that's why. Oh, okay. okay. Right now, Mum. You could have called it Magic Mike. How are you doing? (laughs) Okay. Yes, I'm okay. So why did so the I other guy transfer to me to you? Come again? Well, I was speaking to another man and he said he's going to transfer me to you, but I'm I'm not quite sure what I need to do now. I thought I filled out the forms. Okay, like what is uh, what you are having? Could you please let me know? Like, could you please explain me? Like, why have you called our company? Oh, okay. Yes, I'll explain you from the beginning. You see, I phoned up because yeah. I got this um, 
a payment thing that I I would like to cancel because it is rather a lot of money. It's nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Uh, do you need the um mm-hmm. the the details of the uh, of the payment, the order ID? Okay, it was the payment. Yeah, please. Okay, the order me. ID is four six two zero C seven zero two. Four six two zero Z. Let's right. see like Charlie, not see like Zulu. Like the C word. All right, mom. I believe there's a PayPal payment of uh, 999.99 cents, correct? Yes. Including including all kinds of taxes. So there's a charge. Oh, the taxes. So right now it has, been charged from, yeah, it has been charged from your credit union. All right, mom. So right now you want that back. Is that correct? Yes, I I can't afford this payment. It's far for a lot, you know. Christmas is coming up. There's a lot of expenses. Exactly correct, ma'am. So right now, ma'am, let me just go ahead and refund you back uh, with your order ID number four six two zero C seven two zero. Let me just uh, write down uh, the refund amount, which is nine hundred ninety nine point nine nine cents. So we need to reverse that back as soon as possible. All right, ma'am. So you do okay. one thing. We have uh, initiated the refund right now. All right. So all you need to do is like you simply go ahead and log into your bank and just check like well, whether I've, you are getting that money. I right yes, I did all this with the other man before I got transferred to you. We checked the bank, and he said that there was a link sent. So we we did that, and I don't know where we're going from here. Okay, no issues, mom. Just go ahead and log into your bank right now again, so we can okay. initiate your refund. Okay. All right, then. You know, I keep on logging in. Oh, I got to do that code again. I got to wait for the code. You all right there? Come again? I oh, was just asking if you're all right. I'm, I'm just waiting on this code. The code has just come through. Yes, we were checking the messages that w- was sent to the bank, yes? Let's check the messages, see if it's come through yet. No, we, we still got no message. Okay, mom, you do one thing. Just open up your account in which you want the refund. Okay? I've got my and account we open. To log in to... we, we sent it to okay. the checking you account. To sell... you... Yeah, you have to select the particular account, the checking account. You oh, i got to that. select the account right, first, so can... okay. Yes. Uh, and then we click on messages? No. And no? You have to just, you just need to wait. Okay. What do I wait for? He's got oh, AliExpress, so that's my last ahead. payment. I've been buying a few things on AliExpress. Here we got new tab. So let me just go ahead and log into our TD Bank, all right, from which we are going to reverse the charge, all right, mom? So once Ooh, I'm going you to use log TD into Bank. our TD Bank, yeah, that is correct. All right. You know, I, I would have thought you'd use, uh, what, ICICI or something. Come again. Well, I know a few people, they like to use the ICICI. That's what they normally do. ICCI? No, ICICI. I was speaking I-C-I-C-I. to some other people. They, they're in the California. You know, his, his name's Vikram, and he uses ICICI. That's what I sent last time. I still did not get that. What are you talking about? Were well, you not like based in California, said... or are you in the Washington? We are in the... California, mom. Oh, you are in the California. You San Diego, San Jose, San Francisco, Tijuana, Seattle, Seattle. Seattle. Okay. Yeah. All right, Seattle, mom. California. Now let's get back to the work. All right. Oh, yes. We are just going to log into our bank to initiate okay. your refund. So once I'm going to log into our bank, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the computer's updated. updating. It's okay. That is our security system. All right. That means right now we have logged into our bank, okay? So that is the reason you are having... Uh, no, it doesn't say security, it says software is updating. Yes, software is updating. The, yes. That is our so security it's not system. security, it, it's, it's not a security blockage. You are not getting my point. What I'm saying is... No, this right is just now, a phone call. Our... Come, What's it, what are you saying? It's a phone call. I, I can't get points on a phone call. Did not get that. Come Neither again. did I. That's the whole point. Or not, so to speak. Okay. All right. Let me just tell you 
What's this the software right is updating. I, I've got to wait for the computer to restart. Write down, yeah, write down a few information on the paper, which I'm going to give you. Well, should I restart the computer, you know, make it uh, cancel this update? No. No, no, no. I mean, I'll do, do that. Do anything. Okay. Let's see. Control, I'll do delete. Maybe this. that'll do it. Nothing, mom. Do not do anything. Don't touch your computer. No, it's just rebooting, you know, it'll stop that update. It's okay. It's okay. Not an issue. Is there a dog in the background? I hear a dog. Yeah, that's my dog because I'm working from home right now, okay? Oh, you're working so right from now, home? Right now, what do you see on the computer screen? I didn't screen? realize. I don't, where, where, in, where in Seattle uh, do you live? Do you live near Redmond or something? Yeah. Listen to me, sir. Right now, what do you see on the screen? Um... You see, I just got to put in my password here. I, I'm back at the screen. The desktop screen. Uh, yes, I, I'm back at the desktop screen here. It's just rebooting. Wait, it's just done the reboot. What is your full name, sir? My name is Felicity Arkwright. I told this to the other man. Did you not get it? I hope your name is Jonathan Thomas, I thought. No, that's my husband. And how, how old are you? Let's see, I was born in 1963. So I'm about 63 now. Is that your real voice? What do you mean? All right. Let's yes, I'm all right. And what do you see on the screen right now? Uh, at the moment, I've just got Google open. You have just got open Google, correct. Hello, you know, right. Google Chrome. Hello? What have you done, Mom? What do you mean, what have I done? What were oh, you doing? Lord. Well, I'm here with the Google. I don't know what, what you want me to say because I'm, I'm doing, just here. What were you doing? What were you doing on the Supremo? I wasn't doing what anything you doing? on Supremo. Tell me. Your Supremo. Then what were you doing? What? What were you doing? Tell I me. haven't done anything on the Supremo. Was I supposed to? Well, let me go to Supremo. What? What were you doing on that particular screen? Tell me that. I don't what know. I was trying to change the... Fo I beg your pardon? No need to swear like that. Where did you change? Where did you change? Tell me that. Well, I, it's an update here. Update I was, here? I was trying to click on the update on the bottom right because it's got the red thing. Do one thing. Go ahead and log into your bank. Okay. Well, we still got your titty bank here. Let's yeah. log into that. Mom. Mom, Mom, are you trying to be smart? No. Are you trying to be dumb? No. Are you a dumb? Yeah, I am dumb. I'm you a are a dumb head. I am dumb, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. Something doesn't you match. Please joke, try right? again. Why are you entering false information into the titty bank? Let me log into my Why ICICI. You ICICI. Why ICICI. You I my account. Log into the ICICI. What are you doing? I'm logging into my bank account. You told me to. You have an ICICI? I told you that earlier. Okay, what did you tell me? Narendra set it up for me. An app it up. Okay. All right. You, you know, I mentioned they, they live in the California, and I had to transfer the stuff to their ICICI. They set one up for me. Do you have an ICICI, okay. ICICI account? ICICI. It Would you like some gold bullion? Why it shows why why it shows an Indian flag over there? Well, because ICICI is Indian a banking flag. in India. Oh, you ever been to right, India? All right. Yeah, never, sir. Never. You've never been to India. You're missing out. No. Your, your line is breaking up. It must be that Seattle, California, Bell. Yeah, that is correct. Yes. You know Alexander Graham Bell? Who's that? Well, he's the guy who invented the telephone. And they well, named the company they? after him. They called it Bell. Bell? Yes, Bell. Do you know much about telephones? Come again? I haven't come once. Do you know much what about telephones? Saying? Do you know much Telephone? about telephones? You know telephones. The object you're Ooh. speaking into now. Okay. Number you have called is unavailable to take your call. Please leave a mess message after the tone. 
Hello there, Magic Mike. Uh, I've got this message, you know, you, I don't know why you went all piffy on me and decided to hang up the line. Do you want to sort this refund out or do I have to dial the other guys back at the thing and then uh, get them to, uh, I don't know, complain about you, maybe? I'm not quite sure, but if you could call me back, well, you know, that would be something else. And I hope all this well in Seattle, California. Cheerio.